Hey guys, in this video we are going to be upgrading our Nintendo Switch 2 data. So right now we've got a micro SD card. We have to get these express SD cards. There is no other way to make it compatible with the Nintendo Switch 2. And as you can see it has Nintendo Switch 2 on the front. It needs to be an express micro SD card. No other cards work. I've just tested it and this is the card that works. So this comes with 256 gigabytes, which is pretty good. And we're gonna be testing it out today for Nintendo Switch 2. It's an official licensed product, as you can see. And it also has Mario on the SD card. So let's have some fun and unbox this and get it used. So these are really fun for storage upgrades. I'm excited. Shouldn't take too long to probably put in. I mean, these are really easy to use. And as you can see, the plastic there is pretty grippy. Try not to break it at the end, but should be okay, honestly. As you can see, these are pretty small. Very, very small. Very, very cheap as well. So this is what it looks like. So you've got the big M there and 256. And you want to make sure it has that EX there. That just means that it's a micro SD express card. It even has micro SD express right there. So you know that it is compatible with the Switch 2 particularly. It does only accept very particular cards. It's very small, so try not to lose this as well. So all we have to do is go to the back here and they've got the support right here. So all we do to access it, we just lift this up right here. This is our stand and then we just pop this in, face forward with the red push this in and there we go so what we need to do is a system update so let's update the system real quick for the switch 2 so it's just going to download the system update real quick that was the fastest upgrade i've ever seen in my life that, that did not take very long whatsoever so that's pretty good and it's just going to restart the nintendo switch 2 now Great, so that didn't take long at all, and we just did a quick restart. So all we have to do is now log back in, and now let's check our storage settings. So if we go all the way down to data management, as we can see, we now have it available here for micro SD express card. There we go. So that's how we know that it's ready to use. So let's go move data between the console and the micro SD card. So Let's move some of these games that we are not using. Let's move some of those over. Let's see how long it takes to move that many gigabytes. So it's about a minute, so not too much. It has this verification of what is moving over and it's only gonna take a minute. So that's quite a lot of gigabytes that were just quickly moving over to this micro SD card, which is pretty good. All right, so we're just about to finish moving the software over. It took about, yeah, about a minute. And there we go, so it's now complete. So then we can go into manage software and even see what has been across the board. So let's see, so this is all of our data. So it says where this data is, as you can see. So right there, it has here. So that shows the system memory. So that's where it's being used. And then as you can see, We've now chose a different one on this micro SD card. So that's where you know where these games are being held. We could prevent our auto deletion and then you could check for corrupted data, all that sort of jazz right there. And then you could even transfer your saved data. Great, so let's do a quick test. So right here, we've got Minecraft. So this is running off the Switch to micro SD card. So running Minecraft, I mean, it's not gonna be the hardest thing, but as you could see, we are definitely running it off this micro SD card. And this doesn't seem to be too much loading issues whatsoever with the micro SD card as a test. I'll test a few different games. I mean, we saved uh, Hades on the micro SD card as well. So we might as well test that as well. So this is our world that we are actually, there we go. So this one was the hardest one because we built into this mountain range. So 
actually getting this to load this world is a really good idea because I remember this lagging so much on the Nintendo Switch. So having this and testing it out on the Switch 2 with this micro SD card is pretty good. And what we're gonna do is actually build all of this flat. So we have like a flat whole entire region within this mountain. So that is the plan for this sort of build that we're doing right here. So right now, zero lag with the load times or anything with this for the Switch 2 and this micro SD card, which is very impressive. Very happy about that. All right, so now we're gonna test Hades. So right now we're running Hades off of the Okay, let's see. We've got a bit of lag, I guess. All right, so now it's loading. So maybe I could load this back into the console and see if it loads a little bit faster. But right now, it didn't seem too bad. Okay. All right, so now we're in the game. And it is taking a bit longer to load. So I'm wondering if maybe we could try it out back to the original console storage and see if maybe it will be a bit quicker to load the game. Okay, so the move is now complete and that took about a minute to now move. So let's see on the actual console storage itself. Does the game load a little bit faster? We'll see if it takes the same amount of time. As we could see, it still goes to that dark screen. So I think that it sort of takes the same amount of time. It did feel like it loaded to those sort of pedals at the bottom a little bit quicker with Hades. So I'm interested if it may run maybe a little bit slower with the Switch 2. But this is normally the case when it comes to external SD cards anyway with storage. Like sometimes it does run a little bit slower with games. But anyway, that's um, just something that comes a part of it. Definitely felt a little bit quicker to get into the game. So just keep that noted with this micro SD card. So yeah, that should be pretty much everything you need to know about micro SD cards with the Nintendo Switch 2. If it is worth buying, I think it is worth buying for the extra storage. Especially if you have a lot of games on your account. And overall, I think this is everything you need to know for now. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe to see more.